Hello, today I'm going to talk about carbon isotope stratigraphy. So the element carbon is in constant fluctuation between its two isotopes, carbon-12 and carbon-13. This change is dependent on the varying environment within our carbon cycle and is recorded as a delta-13 value. These isotopic signals can be recorded within both marine and terrestrial sediments across geologic time. And today we measure these within stable isotope mass spectrometers. These machines produce graphs such as this, which is showing a Cambrian marine stratigraphy graph. At the start, it's fairly positive, which correlates to increased burial of organic matter. This further correlates to an expanding oxygen minimum zone, which causes an increase in productivity at the surface. Increased productivity co creates anoxia, as when the algal bloom dies, microorganisms have to use up the oxygen within the water. The excursion is positive because photosynthesis prefers the lighter carbon-12 to carbon-13. As there is a lot of photosynthesis to create the algal bloom, the surrounding oceans then become more carbon-13 enriched. This is recorded within the sediment as a positive excursion. The record then becomes a lot more negative. This is due to upwelling or increased weathering of organic matter. This is one small cause by the fact that photosynthesis prefers the lighter carbon-12 to carbon-13. As nutrient-rich waters are reintroduced back into the system, the environment but then becomes more carbon-12 enriched. This is then recorded as a negative excursion within our sedimentary record. Within the modern day, we see that our delta-13 carbon values become a lot more negative in post-industrial times, this is due to the organic matter of fossil fuels being carbon-12 enriched. Once this has been burned and entered into our atmosphere through greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide, it creates a more carbon-12 enriched environment and atmosphere and therefore a more negative excursion. Thank you for listening and I hope this all makes sense. If not, drop some comments and questions within the comment section down below and I'll get on to answering them. Thank you.